In this video, I'm going to be giving you a simple play that you can use out of the bunch formation to beat man-to-man -man coverage, beat match coverage, beat any coverage that you're going to face uh, in this game. We're going to be going over bunch trail today. This is probably one of the most powerful plays in bunch uh, again this year. It was really good last year. We're going to be showing you how to utilize this play to attack some of the dollar meta and just kind of some of the things that we're starting to see uh, a lot of people run. So um, this is in the Washington playbook. If you guys want to get my full ebook on Washington, Washington, make sure you join our Patreon. $10 will get you access to all of our ebooks as well as all of the updates uh, to those ebooks as well. So, Bunch Trail is an extremely versatile play. It allows uh, us a lot of really good value um, with our routes. Now, if you remember, um, in general, it's pretty easy this year to be able to get at least one slot apprentice on your field as well as an outside apprentice. That's very helpful. Uh, for bunch and so with that we can do a couple different things but the main setup that I want to show you in this video um, is actually a fairly simple setup. We're going to end our tight end. We're going to go ahead and block our running back. So you can set up different protections that you might want to have. And then we're going to streak our outside bunch receiver and motion him across. Now this motion of this outside bunch receiver is really primarily more for zone than man to man. Um, but our main read here is we're going to look to the corner route first. And then we're going to, of course, uh, be able to look to our tight end in route. So what you're going to see is against man, the main route we're going to want to hit is this corner route to the right side. This is going to force them uh, to have to go to zone coverage, especially on that side of the field. Now, the next thing that we're going to show you here is let's say that they, um, you know, let's say that they are playing man to man, um, you know, and they roll over a coverage kind of like this here so that they can, you know, try to get out there for zone. Uh, or for a zone for that route, you're going to see that this tight end in route, even if um, the beauty of this tight end in route, especially with short end, you could put him on a drag too, by the way. So you could put him on a slant. Actually, a slant's pretty good too. Um, so slant, drag, or in, just something that has him going over the middle. You could leave him on the trail route. I don't really like the trail route unless I have short and elite. So if you have short and elite, which I would expect you should, uh, especially you know with just how good short and elite is this year and how really necessary it is. But the point is, anything over the middle. And so you look to the corner, that's not open. Now you're gonna look over here and try to hit your slant or something like that. So what's gonna happen is their user is gonna shift out of the middle of the field. So um, essentially, let's say that this guy right here is their user. Now he's going to do, you know, you're gonna see some semblance of you know, this right here. This is a, you know, kind of, again, we're dropping coverage. Obviously, if they're blitzing you, um, you know, it's going to, they're just going to have less pieces uh, to play with in their coverage. But, so their user is going to have to go over here with the slant, and this is just going to imitate kind of some general kind of things you can expect for them having to adjust to your corner route as well. So now what you're going to have is this post route over the middle. And this post route over the middle is really good once again this year, especially with this clear out streak. So sometimes this streak will get wide open, as you saw right there, if they are in a press type of coverage where, you know, they're they're pressing you and, and you know, that streak can actually get over the top, um, if you will. Now, the other thing that I want to show you with this play um, is kind of why why the post route is so important in bunch. So let's say that you have an outside apprentice C route and you run it like this. This outside apprentice C route is really good. It's one of the most popular and most effective man beaters this year. As you see right here, it absolutely destroys man coverage. So your opponent has a couple of different decisions to make in terms of how they're gonna guard the C route. The first thing they're probably going to do though is they're gonna essentially check into cover three on both sides. They're going to turn this play into cover three, and that's how they're that's how they're going to stop your concept. The beauty of this is cover three is not going to stop this. You're going to see right here that this post is going to be open for a touchdown if they do run something like that. As you see right there, we're able to cook cover three, especially kind of a traditional uh, style of cover three. Now, the other thing that you want to look at here, so they can't really play cover three. Um, what they might try to do is something to this extent. 
you know, where essentially they do something like this. Now, again, you can really hurt them with your post route. You've got time because you're blocking your running back. So you should have time to at least hit something. You've got your corner out quick, your slant. Now you see here's cover three. And again, you see that post is cooking the cover three over the top, as you can see. So the post is really, really powerful. Essentially, the, the, the streak is just a clear out for the post. That's all it is. Now, the next thing, though, that they're going to try to do is they're going to say, okay, well, you know, zone's not working on that side, so we need to, you know, maybe do something, you know, like this where we have this guy in man, this guy, you know, is going to roll into a zone look, and then we're going to have man coverage and we're going to shade outside, okay? Now, this is probably the best way that they can actually defend this, but this is going to allow you to have this post route as essentially a pass lead inside underneath that third. Now, what's gonna happen, like I said, is this post route is so important because they're they're used to stop trying to stop your C route, right? Because they have to shade outside or they have to drop a third or they have to do something. Otherwise, you can just C route them to death. And there's so many setups and bunch with C routes this year. So they have to do something to stop the C route. Typically is gonna be drop zone well if they don't if, they, if that's not working then they're going to shade outside in man coverage so here they are shading outside in man coverage and you're seeing that we're still able to to really bomb them over the top so this is a really really valuable play in bunch because it really takes that ability away uh, from what they can do now this is also really really good against different types of zones uh, such as cover two so let's say that you're seeing cover two again they're going to have to kind of squat on this slant which is going to leave your post open. The mid read actually played out of its mind there. Uh, but generally speaking, if they do run a cover two, oftentimes their user is going to be on the mid read. Um, you know, but you know, generally speaking, your slant is they're going to they're going to squat on the slant with their user, and then that's going to leave this post wide open. So you see right here, just free form pass lead in, right in the seam. Um, and it just cooks cover two. It's really good against cover two. So they can't play cover two. They can't play cover three. Now what they're going to try to do is start to start, um, you're going to start to see some cover four. So, and really what you're doing by running this play is you're walking them into this chess match between do I shade outside on this play to stop the C route or do I not shade? Um, you know, and it's, again, if you have short and lead or you have a good route runner out there, it's pretty decent. Now, against cover four drop, don't sleep on this play against cover four drop. That streak clears out the zones and you can throw this underneath really nicely. Okay, so this bunch trail play, I think a lot of people thought, you know, this is just a man beating play. It's really more than that. Um, it can really do a lot. It's a very versatile play is what it really is. And it allows you to kind of complement some of your other setups maybe out of like mesh post or some of your other plays really really well so you see again this is the core setup that i like to run and then from here i can hit my corner route or if i get you know if i get a good uh have a good receiver out here i got a pretty good chance of beating man to man with this post late in the play and then again i got my tight end on a slant so very versatile uh, play here, but this is a setup at a bunch trail that I really like. If you want to learn the rest of this offense, make sure that you join my Patreon. $10 will get you access to all of our ebooks and all the updates to those ebooks. Again, I think Bunch Trail is extremely versatile. We go over several ways on how to utilize it um, in our ebook. And again, if you want to sign up for that, just head down to the description below and click the link. Hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.